Well guys, that's the wife's big stainless steel cooking pot. And this is my shop magnet. You see how it doesn't stick? So I was reading this guy's comment somewhere. He was talking about uh, his 409 stainless steel exhaust system that he put on his vehicle. And uh, sounded like about a year later it was looking rusty and uh, wasn't looking too pretty. So uh, he was kind of disappointed with that. So not all stainless is created alike. So here's a piece of 409 stainless that's been laying out in the rain. So have a look at that. And uh, you can see it looks pretty brutal for stainless steel. But it is 409 stainless. So and check out the magnet. The magnet likes it. And I believe that's the iron content. So yeah, if you're looking for a, a high-end stainless, you're gonna be in the uh, 300 series, which is probably what this rod is, but uh, I'm not sure. I just bought stainless rod and they just gave it to me. I don't know what series, but you see the magnet doesn't stick to it. So the magnet test on stainless, that's always a good indication on uh, what you're getting. And if you look close on this, you can actually see a bit of rusting on it. See right there? You know, they call it stainless, not stain, you know, never. It's stainless. It means it doesn't stain as much. He's having a good time waiting for mama. So uh, I want to be their friend, but they're probably not eager to be my friend. But they're really cute. So the other day I'm in the store and uh, I asked the guy if the hose clamps that I was buying were stainless steel. He figured, well, this part probably was, but he wasn't sure about this part here. And uh, so we checked it with a magnet, and uh, sure enough, it, uh, both pieces passed the uh, magnet test. So really handy if you know that little trick about stainless. So here's some bigger pieces of 409, and uh, they actually still look pretty good. They've been outside for a long time also but uh, they haven't had the coating damaged so much and so they're still looking really good. But uh, like stainless steel, it's kind of like uh, soup. You can mix it many different ways with different metals and uh, if you guys are interested, you know, you could probably spend a whole evening, you know, researching the different stainless steels and stuff like that. So anyways guys, you're, uh, you guys are awesome and I appreciate you checking in.